Hi, I'm Katie Hodges. Hi, I'm Audrey Geller. Our experiment is ice cube and a string. Good. Um, have you ever tried to pick up an ice cube? It's kind of slippery. Yes, it is. Um, well, we have just the trick for you. All it takes is a piece of string and salt. The standard that this addresses is in first grade, S1, E2, students will observe changes in water to as it relates to weather and recognize water when it freezes, ice, and then when it's in its liquid form, when it melts, water. water. Um, this discrepant event um, is whole group experience. All right, so materials. You're going to need a clear glass of with water. Water. And then we need a glass with ice cubes. Some string. And kosher salt. All right, so for the setup, you if you have not already, you're going to pour some water into a glass. All right, so here we go. Um, step two is you would need to put one to two ice cubes in the glass of water. Let's we'll start with one. We'll start with one. Okay. And it should float, otherwise your ice is broken. <laughs> and then what you're going to do is you're going to try to lay the string on top of the ice cube which I'm going to do very successfully right now. There we go. I'm going to leave it there for like a few seconds. Okay. Um, your next step is to try to lift the ice cube from it? the water with the string. The string. Oh, oh no. no! What happened? It didn't work. I wonder why. So, what I'm going to do is try again to lay this string on top of this ice cube. Perfect. Okay. Sprinkle some salt in the palm of your hands. That's good. And sprinkle some salt on top of the ice and the string. And then wait a few seconds. <laughs> we are now going to carefully lift the ice cube with the string. And it almost worked. It almost worked. That was so cool. So if this happens, you're going to try again. With more. With more kosher salt. Go for it, Katie. Ooh. So sprinkle again the salt onto the ice cube and string. And the tap more. Do, 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 do. And wait a few seconds. <laughs> All right, you ready? All right, and then try again. I wonder what's going to happen. <gasps> How did you do that? Look at that. I am lifting that. that. I am lifting wow. it. Wow. That Amazing. Is so cool. Wow. Bet you didn't think I could do that. No. No way. All right. So, how did that happen? To relate it to science. The ice cube will start to melt once it leaves the freezer, as you can see it doing right now. Um, and that is a change of matter. When you add the salt, it will immediately drop the temperature to below freezing, um, which is going on the ice. So, then, oh, I'm sorry. So, below freezing, the freezing temperature is 32 degrees. So, once the salt goes onto the ice cube, it even drops it further below freezing. So, what happens is it kind of creates a brine yes. around the, the ice cube, freezes, but since the string is there, it freezes to the string, and then your string is able to lift up lift the ice cube. And that's that. And that is that. Uh, we would do this as uh, with our kids. There's no dangerous materials, mm -hmm. so no safety concerns. Exactly, and it would be cool to even let your kids go into small groups too and explore it for themselves. Absolutely. So, um, yeah, our source um, was Steve Spengler Science. Um, just click on the lab section and you will see how we do it.
Thank you so much. All right. Bye. See you next time. Yes. Keep going. Just <laughs>